personal value, contentment. In whatever we are doing, we should be contented. But we have been taught, and I believe so, that discipline and hard work is very important. If we have done all of that, we should be contented with whatever we have or the stage of life we are. It's good to be ambitious, and sometimes it's good to be over ambitious, if I may use the word over ambitious. And sometimes you look around, you see people you have worked harder than, you have followed the rule better than, and they've made a lot of success of their life. That is okay. Some people don't want to believe in the word luck. When you tell people that sometimes life don't go your own way, sometimes life may not favor you as expected but all the time you should be contented yes it's very hard thing but you must try you should be satisfied if you have worked very hard be satisfied with your level otherwise you'll be moving from error to error you'll be looking for shortcut you want to outdo another person you will also be looking for a way of cutting corners. But that may not work for you. You could be heading for crisis. So, but the most important thing is that you should be able to do a self-assessment. Assess yourself and see you have tried. Sometimes you may get to the end of the road and feel that it is not worth it moving ahead. You have to keep moving ahead. If you don't continue to move ahead, you'll be stagnant and you'll be reversing back. You'll be discouraged and this may affect your mental health. So why are you standing on the same spot? Whether there is a road or not, you should keep moving. Most likely, you're a pathfinder. You are going to find a path where there is no path. But you should be ready to be a pathfinder, to move ahead. And shockingly, many people may not support you when you've got into that level. When you, got to, when you get to a level, a lot of people may abandon you. People will warm up to you because you are doing very well. And probably because they're getting something from you. You'll be shocked that people who are supposed to stand with you are against you. For flimsy excuses, it could even be your parents, it could be your brothers, it could be your spouse, it could be your father, it could be your mother, it could be your children. But first and foremost, you are you. So whatever happens to you, they will talk about you. They won't talk about them. So you have to surprise everybody by making sure that you keep moving. You must like yourself. Yes, you are not satisfied with yourself when you look at yourself in the mirror or when you look back and look at the track or the target you've set for yourself. You are not satisfied. But you have to move, keep moving. What is a lot of struggle, but you never know the end of it until you get to the end. And the end will be shorter. I mean, the end, which is the beginning of success, may be shorter. But as a pathfinder, in your own way, you are not discovering new things, but you are finding a way for yourself. You will have to go through the rigor of clearing the hurdles and creating a good space for yourself. But first of all, you must be happy with yourself. You must be contented. Contentment does not mean that you have given up. Contentment means that I won't reach this point. I have to mo keep moving without worrying about your failure or distractions. So people will see you as a very happy person. 
and you must be happy because you are closer to success as you are moving on.